Hello, Scorpio. This is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing today? Um, so this is for the week of July 20th through July 26, 2020. I'm really quite excited about this week. Um, and this week is a week that um, there's a lot of twos in the number. And I really think it's a week that we should be realizing that we are not an island. We are not alone. We are part of a collective whole, whether it's the universe or the uh, planet Earth, um, our family unit, whatever. We are part of something bigger than ourselves. And we need to accept that and revel in it, but we also need to appreciate the rest of that party, those parts. Um, this is the week that you pick up the phone and you call your kid and you say, you know, I love you. Or you call your mom and say, hey, mom, I'm really glad that you birthed me. Or you tell your boss that you appreciate the fact that he hired you. Or, I mean, I can go on and on. You're the only one who knows who you need to appreciate. So anyway, like I told you last week, we are not going, I'm not going to shuffle in front of y'all anymore. because That just takes way too much time. And I'm not going to explain it too much either. So this week, we are starting with the Animal Spirit Guide. Well, this is the guidebook that goes with the Animal Spirit deck. And it's a deck I got a couple years ago at the Sedona Yoga Festival in Sedona, Arizona. And I love Sedona, by the way. And so these cards are new to me. I have not seen them. So anyway, the first card we get is the butterfly. And one of the things I love about a butterfly and this is an air card, and that's almost a duh. That's a sign for air. And so um, one of the things about air, well, well, about the butterfly, is it's all about change, the transformation. First of all, the little butterfly comes out and it's a caterpillar. Caterpillar. And then he builds a cocoon. And then eventually he's like, get me out of here. And then when he comes out, he's this beautiful butterfly. But he had to do all that work to get out and to build a cocoon. And that's kind of like us. We don't start out at our optimum. We have to do work to get there. And that's what this is saying to you. This is a beginning of your transformation or maybe the end of your transformation. But you are transforming. And the first card we get... For your tarot, which is right awake tarot, as you know, is the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is um, about ambition, but you've got a lot of projects going on, not just one. And then the next card we get is the Devil. You're like, oops, the Devil. What's the Devil doing in my deck? Well, the Devil is all about getting caught up in sensuality and the things of the world as opposed to the things of spirit. And finally, we get the world, which is a card about success. So what this is saying to me, for you, is this communication, this um, being, whether it's on the internet or whatever, can lead to your downfall or your success and only you can make that choice only you can decide whether you're going to fall prey to that sensuality and that could be food it could be sex it could be drugs it could be anything that is based upon our sensual wants and but this one says that you can have success just don't get caught up in this and that's actually a good lesson for all of us. A glass of wine is fine. A bottle's not. Um, a piece of cake is fine. The whole cake is not. And so we need to have that balance. And so now we're going to pull, I pulled from the Goddess Power Oracle deck. Um, this is a Colette Baron Reed card deck. And you get Bronwyn. And Bronwyn is a Celtic goddess. And she's all about forgiveness. She forgave those that murdered her. Um, 
And so while you're having this week of change, part of that change needs to be forgiving. This could be about self-forgiveness. This could be realizing that at times you've been caught up in your sensuality or in eating too much or whatever, but, and it's okay and you can forgive yourself, but it's also time to move on. Now, I know that you're like, well, I don't want to, now if it's someone else besides yourself, you're thinking, I don't want to, I don't like them, I don't want to forgive them. Well, guess what? Too bad. Because they are not sitting around going, oh my word, Genevieve hates me. They don't care. Just don't care. The only person unforgiveness hurts is you. That's right. Or me. If I hold unforgiveness in my heart, it hurts my heart. It makes my heart chakra unbalanced. I don't want that. I want my chakras to be balanced. Now, the I'm going to pull for, I pulled from the Crystal Spirits Oracle card deck. And this one's hard for me to read from because it's all about, about um, crystals. And so I actually have to think about what each crystal means. And I'm always afraid I'm going to pull one I don't remember. But this is the Seraphos Green Quartz. Now, once again, green is our heart chakra. So right there, when you see green, well, and it can also mean money, let's just be real. But when I see this card, that's telling me that the world has, earth has my back and that I can trust and love the universe or spirit to provide for me. That's right. Spirit's got your back. That's really cool. Now I'm going to read the crystal ball. And this is different than the ones I've been reading with for y'all. I've been using um, like a natural quartz crystal that has been made into a ball, but that has a lot of inclusions and little breaks inside of it. This is a crystal crystal, so it's pretty much perfect, which means everything I'm seeing is my, what I'm seeing psychically, which is scary. say footprints um and so when you see footprints that means you're going it's starting a journey or a trip or a change could also mean that people leave footprints on our heart i know i've had dogs leave their paw prints on my heart but that doesn't mean that i don't give my heart away because if i hold on to it if you don't if you hold on to something so hard that you never give it away, then it's just kind of wasted, isn't it? Because love really isn't love until you give it away. And that's some kind of cliche thing, I know. And I see a moth, which goes along with the butterfly. Um, because moths are basically kind of butterflies. Except that in this case, it means go to the light. Moths go to the light. But they are butterflies, so they're still about transformation and change. So it's time for you to go to the light and transform.
and I see a candle. Once again, you need to find that light. You have that light inside of you. You are that butterfly that's coming out of the cocoon. And it's time for you to come out and to go to the light and to make those changes. Namaste. If you want to um, have a private reading, send me a text at 405-512-9400 or send me a PM on Belladonna Moonbeams. And until then, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.